Welcome to New England Wildflower Society's Go Botany Plant Identifier. This video shows you how to tell if your plant is a true sedge in the genus Carex. Carex plants look like grass with long slender leaves with parallel veins, but they differ from grasses in important ways. One of the easiest ways to tell a carex species from a grass is by its triangular stem. Roll the stem between your forefinger and your thumb, and you'll feel the three angles on the stem. Sedges have edges. The stem is triangular in cross-section, and it's also solid. Some other members of the sedge family, not carex, but some related genera, may also have triangular stems but their flowers are very different, and we'll talk about this more in a minute. Unlike grasses, also, sedges don't usually have swellings at the nodes. See this grass? Where the leaves join the stem is a little juncture point called the node, and on grasses, this is swollen. This is not so true in the sedges. You can see, though, where the leaf joins the stem, it actually goes down the stem a little ways, and this portion of the leaf is called the sheath. You'll want to notice how long the sheath is, you'll want to notice whether the sheath is any different color from the leaf itself or the stem, and you'll also want to take a look at this top leaf here, right underneath the sets of flowers here at the top of the, of the carex. This leaf is a special leaf called a bract. You'll want to notice how long the bract is, and you'll want to note whether it's longer or shorter than the groups of flowers on the inflorescence. Carex plants produce separate male, pollen-bearing, and female, that is egg-bearing, flowers, arranged into groups called spikes. The male flowers, here's a male spike, are usually smaller than the female ones, and you can sometimes see the pollen-bearing anthers sticking right up out of them. The female flowers, on the other hand, are enclosed in special bottle-shaped sacs called perigenia. Here's a close-up of a perigenium. See how it's bottle-shaped with a narrow neck? This looks very different from the flowers of the Carex cousins in the same family that don't produce these inflated little sacs. You'll see the characteristics of the perigenia best under a hand lens or under a microscope. There's a tiny scale that's pressed up against the perigenium. Take a close look at this scale and note its color and its length relative to the perigenium. These are important features for distinguishing species. Now, some spikes on a carex contain only female flowers, while others contain only male flowers. Other species of carex have spikes that have both male and female flowers. You'll want to notice whether the spike is close up against the stem, that is not on a stalk, or whether it's on a long, drooping peduncle. Here's an example of a spike of a different species of carex that is born on one of these long stalks called the peduncle. As we've seen, carex species, the true sedges, can vary widely in shape and size, and also habitat. They grow everywhere from rocks to wetlands. But this combination of triangular stem, remember, sedges have edges, and unique perigenium, that unique flower type, will help you tell them from grasses, rushes, and other members of the sedge family. Now you just have to get out there and practice. <laughs>